the power back to the battery side. Now we've proven it's safe, your hair's not on fire. In the growing field of robotics, Lennisville Intermediate Center has held an assembly to teach students about robots like these. On the 16th of November, LIC had an assembly about robotics. The assembly was part of the school's focus on fields related to technology. What we did is Mr. Swatner, the principal at Lannisville Primary Center, over the summer he and I sit down and try and figure out our assembly schedule to connect the things we're doing in the classroom. Uh, our focus in, from last year to this year is we want to incorporate some more STEM activities, science, technology, engineering, and math. Four AA batteries equals 18 basketball players. It is important to teach students about the power of robotics because it's becoming an increasingly prevalent field. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, estimating 13% growth since 2014. While at the elementary level, the use of robotics isn't a specific curriculum, students can use their time to learn skills essential to the field of robotics. In the process of making that track was designing what you were going to do first and then making the fractions that would put on it and then you would need to test out the game. For young students, the education is just the fundamentals, but it is still important. At the elementary level, it's more of an introduction. It's more of get a flavor of what coding and robotics is. For any student to be great at that next level, they have to be great at this level first. LIC shows dedication to preparing their students for the future with assemblies like this. From Henfield Happenings, I'm Connor Sensenig. I can put everything together to stay standing.